Let's get a little deeper into non-negotiable rules, what they mean and how you can find them for your family. So I talked in a previous video about how important it is to have two to three non-negotiable rules. Things that you will, as your kids go through their adolescence, you're not going to be flexible on. Now, that being said, non-negotiables can be changed over time, depending on your experience with your kid. Let me give you an example. For years, we had a non-negotiable that we weren't doing sleepovers. I mean, and I had a lot of good reasons behind it. I've done a video on it if you wanna look for that. But right about the time, <laughs> that my daughter became a teenager, my thinking on this changed a little bit. And our my life experience had changed a little bit. So we now, it's not that we have no sleepovers, it's that I always call and talk to the parent and whatever, you know, it's like a case by case basis, all right? So our family non-negotiables at this point, because people have asked, are two things. One, no drinking before the age of 21 and no drug use and no lying, okay? So it's substance use and it's always telling the truth. And that is based, the substance use is based on my experience walking through addiction with my eldest son. And it doesn't come from a place of fear, it comes from a place of knowing the adolescent brain and how it's not yet fully developed. And a kid who's drinking at 15, 16, 17, 18 is drinking with a different brain than someone who's 21. 21 is not a magic age, but your brain is that much closer to being developed and therefore less susceptible under certain circumstances to addiction. So that's why that rule is has come about. Um, your rules need to be based on your values, your personal experience. Some examples might be a curfew time. Some examples might be if you're very academically driven, it might be that your kids have a certain non-negotiable grade point. Non-negotiables are, again, the things that we're not going to be flexible on as a parent. I'm not going to be flexible on, oh, it's a graduation party from high school and your friend's just gonna have a couple of beers there and you wanna have one too, that I'm not flexible on that. Um, I can be flexible in lots of other areas of my kids' lives, but those two non-negotiables are I'm not flexible on, okay? You always need to tell the truth. Now, in my next video, because I know the next natural question is gonna come up, because it has already, what do we do? What are the consequences for when our kids break the non-negotiables? So a reminder, non-negotiables are based on your family values, what's important to you, and what you are unwilling to be flexible with. The older our kids get, the more flexibility we need to give them to build their autonomy and individuality and their resilience. But there are one or two or three areas that we need to have and they need to understand that we are will not willing to negotiate on. So in the next video, we'll talk about what happens when they break the non-negotiable.